it's me Jessie and welcome back it is day two of vlogmas so today's Friday and Friday's my busy day so I thought I would just do a quick kind of Christmas tag video um, one of the things I just wanted to note for vlogmas is that kind of the whole point of it is that you don't really super edit your videos and um, that means that my dogs may kind of come in and out and I probably won't edit that out so unless they like find a squeaky toy and start going crazy then I'll probably cut that out but um, other than that you might see them kind of come and go so we'll see how it goes <clears throat> so <clears throat> goodness gracious okay so um, let's just jump right into the Christmas tag. If you don't know what a tag video is, essentially you just find questions all over the internet. Some of them have all the questions together. Sometimes you need to go kind of looking. And then you just answer them. So for the Christmas tag, I have a little cheat sheet here. So let's just answer these questions. Okay. So number one is your favorite movie. So my favorite Christmas movie is Polar Express. Without a doubt, I love the Polar Express. A very close second is Christmas Eve on Sesame Street. Um, that noise that I'm sure you can hear is Malcolm chewing on a bone. So sorry about that. And he decided he had to come chew it right here. <laughs> what a guy. Okay, favorite song, uh, Baby It's Cold Outside, which I know has some questionable messages in it, but um, I still love it, so that's it. And this year especially, I have discovered, well, I didn't discover it, Rebecca sh sent me this song um, called White Winter Hymnal, and it's a song by Fleet Foxes, but um, Pentatonix covered it. And it is so cute. It's the, the actual lyrics are a bit morbid, but the beat itself is really cute and kind of upbeat. So I love it for Christmas. Have you ever had a white Christmas? I am pretty sure that all of my Christmases have been white. I'm pretty sure. I think in Newfoundland, like we came pretty close to not having a white Christmas one year, but I think it ended up snowing on Christmas Day. Um, but and especially being up here, uh, I definitely have white Christmases. <laughs> uh, do you start your shopping Black Friday or do you wait until the last minute? Um, I actually usually start way earlier, but this year I procrastinated a fair bit and it actually kind of worked out okay because my family changed how we do our gift giving. So it actually kind of worked out that I waited until a bit later, and um, I don't really have a whole lot of people to shop for this year, so um, it's okay that I kind of put it off because I still have lots of time. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Yes. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donder, Blitzen, and Rudolph. Yes. I'm pretty sure I said all those right. Let me know if I didn't. When does your tree go up and who decorates it? Obviously my tree is up. I put it up last weekend. Um, so usually like the last weekend in November, I put the tree up. Um, usually I decorate it right away, but uh, it was just a crazy week and I just didn't have the time. I want, when I decorate the tree, I like to have a full afternoon of just decorating. And I just haven't had that yet. So, hope, ooh, hiccup. Hopefully this weekend. Um, do you have a real tree or a fake tree? It's definitely fake. I love the concept of real trees, but the I have a couple of issues with real trees. My biggest one is that you have to string the lights on it, and I hate stringing lights. So. Fake trees mostly come with, like, they come pre-lit, so that's really kind of the biggest draw. Uh, what's your favorite holiday recipe? 
I don't actually have the recipe for it. Um, I guess I could get it. But one of my aunts makes this homemade Eat More Bar. If you don't Eat More Bar, it's like kind of like this dark toffee, like with peanuts in it. And um, you can buy them, like you can buy bars in the store. But one of my aunts makes the best homemade Eat More Bars. And I've definitely been missing them living up here. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I don't fail, but I wouldn't necessarily call myself a pro either. I have seen some really fancy wrapping paper, like, designs. Not designs, but I've seen some really fancy wrapping. And I'm not quite there, but, I mean, all my lines are usually straight and I don't, like, just cover it in tape. So I think it's... Have you ever gone caroling? I don't remember. I don't, I don't think so. It would be fun, but I don't know if I have. This is Maggie, by the way. Hi, Maggie. <laughs> Maggie, can you lie down? She's like, no, I can't. Thank you. Can I, can you move out of my way? <laughs> just sitting, like just sitting. Hi. Okay, continuing on with Maggie, just right there. Um, what tops your tree? An angel. I know a lot of people use stars, but I am definitely more inclined to having an angel up there. Um, I've always had an angel on my tree, and yeah. Angel. <laughs> uh, do you open presents on Christmas Eve? I, as a kid, we always did. We always had one present that we opened on Christmas Eve, and it was always, always, always Christmas pajamas. That was just what it was, and yeah, so Christmas pajamas, and I love them. But we don't do that anymore, because we're old now, but yeah, Christmas pajamas. <laughs> and last, what is the best present you've ever received? Um, I've got, I've, I mean, I've received lots of great presents over the years. I don't know if one particular thing stands out over any of the other ones. Um, I mean, physical present wise, one that kind of stands out um, is that my grandmama had a um, like decorative shoe collection and I know that sounds a bit weird. Um, when I do my tree decorating video, I'll show you that decoration, but my grandma had a decorative shoe collection and one year for Christmas, all the girls got, um, like myself and my sisters and my female cousins, we all got a decorative shoe ornament for our tree and that was just, I just love that and that was probably one of the most memorable like physical presents that we got. Yeah. And also, obviously, I love when people surprise you by coming home for Christmas, um, like a close friend or family member. Not to get your guys' hopes up, I will not be home for Christmas this year, but just saying, that's one of my favorites. So my battery is about to die, my memory card keeps filling up, so I'm just going to end this here. Um, if you're not already and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below. Feel free to like and share this video. And that's all for day two. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.